الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ When we say we follow the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the salaf of this ummah we have to understand the mashru'iyya or the legislation to do so meaning that it is mashru' it is legislated to make this taqyid or this restriction that not just that you follow the Qur'an and the sunnah that you follow the Quran and the Sunnah and the Salaf of this Ummah, the Salaf of Salih, Ridwan Allahi Ali. And this goes back to or comes from Ijma. And Ijma refers to Ittifaq Mujtahidi al Ummah fi Asrin. على أمر الدين بعد وفاة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إجماع or consensus it refers to the agreeance uh, of the scholars of the ummah those those mujtahideen those who have the knowledge to make ijtihad during a particular time or a particular time period with regards to an issue related to the religion after the death of the Prophet ﷺ. This is what we mean by ijma. And when there's ijma on something, that means it is not permissible to go against it. And as we know, when we refer to the Salaf, we're referring to first and foremost the asal of the jama'ah and that's the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een as the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said which is an affirmation of following the salaf al-salih radwanallahi alayhim khair al-nas qarni thumma al-ladheeni yalunuhum thumma al-ladheeni yalunuhum the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said the best people is those of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them And from some of the ijma'at during the time, during the time, for example, the time of Imam Ahmed, Imam Ahmed said, "Ijma al ulama wa aimmat al mutaqaddimin ala an al Quran kalam Allahi ghair al makhluk." Have a deen, aladi adraktu alayhi shuyukh. وَأَدْرَكَ شُيُوخُ مِنْ كَانَ قَبْلُهُمْ عَلَى هَذَا Imam Ahmed said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, when in reference to the ijma', he said that the scholars have consensus and the prior imams upon the Qur'an being the speech of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala and not being created. And he said, and this is the religion or the path or you might say the minhaj that I found the scholars to be upon. And they found those scholars before them to be upon this as well. So that just lets us know it is not permissible to go against that ijma. Likewise in the statement of Ishaq al-Rahawi Rahimahullah Ta'ala he said about the verse where Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Taha Ar-Rahman al-Ars Istawa the most merciful rose above his throne or rose above the throne he said Ijma Ahl al-Ilm Ijma Ahl al-Ilm أنه فوق العرش استوى و 
وَيَعْلَمُ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ فِي أَسْفِلِ الْأَرْضِ السَّابِعِ Imam said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, about related to the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ar Rahman al Ash Istawa. He said that the scholars have consensus that he, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is above his throne. Uh, that he rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. And that he knows everything on the earth from the seven earths which is beneath him so he mentioned what he mentioned ijma he mentioned consensus imam ibn batta rahimallah ta'ala said wa ajmal muslimun min as-sahabati wa tabi'in wa jamil ahl al-ilm من المؤمنين أن الله تبارك وتعالى على عرشه فوق سماواته بائنون من خلقه. إمام ابن بطة رحمه الله تعالى also said regarding إجماع regarding having this consensus and also this is in pertinent pertinent to عقيدة and the عقيدة the أهل السنة has with regards to Allah سبحانه وتعالى being above his creation and being above his throne. He said. Imam Ibn Batta rahimahullah ta'ala he said that the Muslims have consensus from the time of the Sahaba or from the Sahaba to the Tabi'een and all the scholars uh, from amongst the believers that Allah the Almighty is above his throne uh, and above the seven heavens separate from his creation Again, that's ijma. And as we mentioned, and what was the point of mentioning this consensus, is that to refer oneself and adhere to the Sabil al Mu'mineen, the Minhaj of Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the Minhaj of the Salaf al Saleh, that this is from our religion. And this is the taqeed or the restriction instead of just saying I follow the Quran and the Sunnah that the Imams of Ahlul Sunnah throughout time have made reference to being from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah or praising the Salaf and the Minhaj and the methodology of the Salaf so it is something we should not be shy about and it is something we should strive our best to adhere to and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.